Hi guys. So we're going to try something new with sage. We're going to sage the whole fucking place through the fireplace. So first part of the struggle though, how the hell do you use a Duraflame log? So you're with me on this. I wish this was interactive. We should have done this like a Facebook live feed so that um, <laughs> you could give me pointers. But my sister's here. She's a little bit smarter because she's a little bit browner with her hair. All right, so here we go. First things first. You don't have to use my method. Maybe you have a real fire with real wood. But carefully pull outward on the seam of the wrapper without tearing it to loosen it from the log to create an airspace. All right. I don't know if you can see this, but I have no idea what that means. I think you did it. Did I? Yeah, I think you have to create an opening. It says don't tear it. Pull outward without, oh yeah, you're right, without tearing. See? Good thing she's here. <laughs> All right. Place the fire log, only one. We've only got one right here, so that's perfect. Um, on the supporting grate with arrows pointing down and the seams facing down. Wait. Oh. All right. Put your head in the fireplace to read the rest of the directions. <laughs> Hansel and Gretel shit up in here. Okay, light the seam below each arrow, arrow and close the fireplace screen. So, lighter. Oh, fuck. Where's the lighter? Yes, I absolutely 100% do. Found one. Okay, so light here. On both? Yeah, on both sides. Light both sides, right there. Nailed Sweet. it. Sweet. I'm gonna close that ish. All right. Is it gonna smell like plastic? It quite what? possibly could smell like plastic in here. Well, it's gonna smell like sage, which is. So now we're gonna worse. open this all the way up. All right. So next part. Oh boy, we should have been more prepared. Here's the deal. Sage, right? People walk around with their sage, sage and stuff. They're like kind of racist and like hum, 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 and stuff around the house. Thing is, with sage, it's not good enough. A lot of people don't know this, that you can't just walk around and sage things because, yeah, it cleanses your house, but what's the problem with having a house that's totally cleansed? Do you know? Yucky crap comes in. Yeah, the space is empty, so any sort of shit can fly right back in your house, whether it's good or bad. So sure, you cleared everything out, but maybe you cleared out the good stuff, and now all evil seeps into your house. We don't want that. So what I recommend doing is taking part of the sage, cutting this part, and um, actually having scissors to do it. So I'll be right back again. Or if you don't know where your scissors are, a big ass knife will suffice. So go ahead and cut some sage off your little sage bundle, right? Stick it on your Duraflame log. <laughs> exactly. Chuck it on your Duraflame log. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna let that burn. I am going to say to the spirits in my home, Everything bad, get the fuck out. Like, seriously, right now. Everything that is negative, that is not of divine light and love, leave immediately. Fine. <laughs> Except for Shelly. Oh, okay. But all of her demons, please go <laughs> as well. Um, but, so you want to invite in the angels. You want to say, okay, um, angels of divine light and love, please come into my home and create um, a space of love, harmony, and protection. So, you know, we did the sage. So now we want to fill the space with something more harmonious. Uh, you can put a little sweet grass in there. So that sage is working on cleansing the whole entire house. I'm going to cut some sweet grass off. All right. And then once my house is getting all cleared and I've demanded that everything go, you can't ask nicely. You know why? Because demons and shit, they don't respond to that. They have to be forced. I'm going to sprinkle some sweet grass on there. All right. There we go. And what 
else do we have in here? Um, white sage. We already did sage. It's redundant. Now, Palo Santo is super great, but it comes in these wood chunks. So if you don't have a small one, you might need to be like a lumberjack to cut one because I don't have that man strength to like really break it apart. Thank goodness she's here to help you understand the struggle. You can just say fuck it and put the whole thing on top. There you go. <laughs> All right. Don't have a cutting board. Use a Tupperware top. Right. Exactly. We have a cup. I've just laughed like five times from this video from my lack of preparedness. Um, so Palo Santo also comes in cones. Which would have been easy to use as well. Yeah, it would have been easier to use if I had the foresight, but I didn't, unfortunately. Um, but... You know, a lot of these things, sage especially, smells reeky. It's kind of gross. So you might want to just throw like a little incense on there. Boom. We're so spiritual. Our house is cleansed. It's positive. It's filled with divine light and love. It looks all Christmassy in here. Ta-da! Good vibes. Bye.